everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love and today we have a Q&A video for you and I am so excited to answer your incredible questions because they are very eclectic and I just wanted to begin today by saying that I'm not a medical professional. I'm doing the very best I can with the knowledge and understanding that I have at the time. All the information that I'm sharing with you is based on what I have learnt and experienced on my own journey and I am so excited to share this with you. So let's get cracking on today's first question. Can nuts make you fat? Now I think this is the best question in the whole wide world because I was under the influence quite a while ago that nuts made you fat because I saw so many people on YouTube saying don't eat nuts, limit your nuts, they're bad for you, blah blah blah. It was like it was like... <laughs> A bad thing to eat but I've done some research um, when I was going through Dr. Gregor's book How Not to Die and on his um, YouTube channel nutritionfacts.org and the research that I have found from him um, then I'll go into my own experience um, is that nuts do not make you fat now there's a number of reasons that I want to talk about before we go into more about why that is so so let's get on to the first one now on Dr. Gregor's um, Daily Dozen app he actually recommends um, 30 grams of nuts or two tablespoons a day now in his app he actually um, groups peanuts uh, and peanut butter in that even though they are a legume so I noticed somebody commented about that on my previous video but um, for the sake of his app he's actually linked that into um, the nut category okay then he goes on to say that nuts actually adds two years to your life if you're having like 30 grams a day or two tablespoons so they're good they're so good for you um, there's many other benefits that they help prevent and reverse disease and oh, if they can add two years onto your life, then isn't that enough for you to be like, oh my God, and not have to feel the guilt and shame about nuts because, you know, I used to feel it a lot and I'm eating more nuts now thanks to Dr. Gregor and his app and when you have an understanding about something and well, you become more informed, then you can make better decisions and it just... I don't know, I like to do my research before I do things, but anyway, let's continue. So further on um, in his book, he goes on to talk about a study which was from the Global Burden Society. Now, they actually um, did a clinical trial and worked out that not eating enough uh, nuts um, actually attributes to the third leading dietary risk factor for death and disability in the world. It kills more people than processed meat. Can you not see the connection between eating meat and how important it is for your body? Um, he goes on to say that nuts, well, he's talking about walnuts. Walnuts are the healthiest nut. Now, Dr. Gregor is a massive advocate um, when you're looking at the antioxidant factor of everything. And walnuts have the highest antioxidants in comparison to all other nuts which is amazing. I really, really love them. And they look like a brain. So um, when you're looking at foods that look like the body um, part, then that means it's associated with that um, organ. So yeah, because it looks like a brain, like the actual shell, I'm just putting my notes down right now. The um, outer shell looks like your like your skull, right? And then when you crack it open, it's got the four different chambers as in like your brain. Um, and it actually looks like a brain, which is just amazing. Anyway, I could talk about... I need to make another video about that, actually. We'll talk about that later. Um, so, yeah, so they have the highest level of antioxidants and omega-3s as well. Um, and then he says that walnuts have the highest amount... Um, to suppress cancer growth, which is amazing. So I really love walnuts and I love that they're a little bit oilier and I tend to put them in, um, when I'm making like date and oat balls, I put some nuts in as well with a little bit of cacao, a little sea salt. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good. Um, okay, let's get on to the goodies about weight gain. Are you ready for it? Because I know a lot of you are following me and you're like, what? Give me the facts, Mel. All right, here we go, yo. Okay, so Dr. Gregor talks about the 20 clinical trials. Now, there's been 20 clinical trials to date, but further on, he talks about that. Oh, hello, just showing a bit of skin there. Um, that those 20 clinical trials are only around two to three weeks, so they're not like a long term um, prognosis or whatever you want to call it. Um, but he says that obviously, because 
like nuts, if you're going to consume like 200 calories of nuts, um, then that's probably better than consuming 200 calories of like um, standard American diet food or Australian food or whatever you're eating. It's like processed crap. So it's better to eat whole plant foods and that. So that was the point that they were making in that section. And then he goes on to say that some people actually didn't experience weight loss at all. Some people had a tiny bit, but we're going to go into it a little bit further. So stay with me. It's getting juicy. Then he talks about three different... Oh, actually, no, there's two different theories we're going to talk about. But before he speaks, before I get into that, he speaks about the first law of thermodynamics, which is energy can neither be created or destroyed. So if you're thinking about the energy that is in a nut, you know, if you're going to consume that, like, like I said before, there's like 200 grams of that, you can't destroy it. So it needs to go somewhere. So we're going to talk about two different possible theories where that may have come into play. I know, when I learned about this, I was like, what the heck? Okay, so then it goes on to say, <laughs> there's two principles. The first one is hilarious. It's called the pistachio principle. Now, he talks about this pistachio principle being like the um, amount of difficulty it is to like crack nuts and the ability to chew them. So like eating nuts is a lot of work, right? So that means that your body is like using energy for that process. And I know you're probably saying, well, sometimes, Mel, I'm lazy and I just buy nuts cracked. Well, yeah, I've got a packet of walnuts in my cupboard and they're already pre-cracked. Um, but yes, let's just... So that was just one thing that they're talking about, the amount of difficulty and that we're not chewing them properly. It's going to get more interesting. Hold that thought. <laughs> the next one is called the fecal excretion theory. Disgusting, right? But this is probably a good thing. Um, what did we say? So it says we didn't chew well and we didn't chew well enough so therefore it ends up in our waste, which means that it's not digested and it's staying in our gastrointestinal tract. Which is crazy to think about. Like those calories are not digested at all. You're just basically pooing them out of your body. So it's like such a waste, isn't it? Anyway, and then there is another theory. Oh, Oh, I forgot the other one. Yeah, yeah. So the next one is the dietary consumption theory, which means that eating um, nuts, it's actually suppressing your appetites because they're so satiating. And it's like, for me, when I go to like a raw vegan cafe, I can't eat too many. I can't eat like a whole, um, one of their like raw cakes to myself. Not, not that I eat a whole cake, I mean like a slice. I can't eat that all to myself. It's just too much. So it's saying that it is good for you because it is so high in fat, it actually suppresses your appetite and you're not going to be eating what you would normally do. But in saying that, if you come from an emotional eating background, then that's probably where those people that were tested in those 20 clinical trials actually had a little bit of weight gain. Be interesting to see. I really would love to interview Dr. Gregory. I'm at, he's already on my vision board. Okay. Let me go over to my next page. I've got so many pages of notes. I was just going through the book and I was like, oh my God, this is so amazing. <laughs> anyway, so he summarizes the end of the chapter. I've just basically summarized this whole chapter for you, so <laughs> you're welcome. Um, he's, he's basically segmented into three different categories. So he's saying that 70% of the calories that you're consuming from your nuts um, is in your dietary compensation, which means that you are more satiated, right? Which means that because you're more satiated, you're not going to be eating more calories or whatever that may be. Because when you're full, you're full, right? Um, then he talks about 10% of being flushed out as fat into your feces. How gross is that? And then he goes on to say that the other 20% they're not really too sure about, which probably is the the, the rest of the calories. Um, but he, at, he finishes at the end and says that nuts are so good for you. They boost your metabolism. They add years onto your life. And I don't know, with that information, it's just like truly amazing. So since reading Dr. Gregg's book, I've only read the second part because I was so excited. I was like, oh, tell me about the Daily Dozen. Um, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, check the link in the description. I've got you covered. There's a series that I've made. Um, I've made five videos so far in the series for How Not to Die, which talks about how to prevent and reverse diseases. I probably should have said that earlier, but I just got so caught up in the whole nut game, which is pretty cool. And I don't know. I just find it so interesting. For me, I've noticed that I've upped my nuts 
lately. Um, I've been having the two tablespoons. I've been having peanut butter. I know that peanut butter is a legume or a legume, whatever you want to call it, wherever you are in the world. Um, but I really love peanut butter and I haven't noticed weight gain. If anything, I've noticed weight loss. But in saying that, let me just make a quick little disclaimer. I'm exercising five times a week. Um, I don't know, I just feel good. And maybe because I'm consuming that, I'm not consuming more calories in other sources where he talks about the, what was the name of it? The dietary compensation. I just feel really good where I'm at. So I really need to get into making my own nut butters. I'm just really lazy. <laughs> I'm like the lazy person ever. But the nuts that I get um, is from uh, Flannery's. I showed you in my mukbang the other day when I made the chocolate chia pudding. Um, and in that it was saying, no, what was I going to go into? I just lost my tra train of thought. Da -da 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 -da. Oh yeah, um, I go to Flannery's to get my um, peanut butter because it is 100% peanuts and I get like, four, I don't know how much it is. I think I got a massive container, like about this big for $4, which is absolutely incredible. Um, I go for more of the convenience. Yeah, I should make it. I've never made it before. Maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe just make a big batch, but then if I make a big batch, Peter's gonna eat it all because he eats everything. <gasps> it's hard feeding a vegan athlete. Oh my goodness, they just constantly eat. Anyway, <clears throat> so, yeah, I would love to switch over. I'd probably go for more of a mixed um, nut butter and I'll probably add seeds in it too. Dr. Gregor actually links the nuts and seeds in the same category. I love chia seeds but I kind of like to save them for my chia puddings. Can you guys let me know like do you make your own nut butters or do you buy them? And if you do make your own nut butters what combination do you make or you just leave it like one solid one like an almond butter or Brazil nut butter whatever. You know I would love to know what are you guys doing? Because I find this truly fascinating and if you have noticed um, since you have been incorporating more nuts, maybe since you've been watching my series and you're feeling amazing and you're not noticing weight gain or whatever, can you just let me know in the comments how you're going? Because for me, I'm feeling good and I've never eaten more nuts in my whole entire life. Um, I typically add my nuts to like, oh, you would have seen in my mukbang, like in my sit I typically add it in breakfast or I would have it on like a rice cake. Um, do you guys know what rice cakes are? It's like the circle flat rice. It's just 100% rice and it's flat. It's like puffed rice. Oh god. Um, anyway, and I add peanut butter and peanut, um, <laughs> peanut butter and more peanut butter. We should do the video 100 layers of peanut butter. <laughs> that would be funny. Oh my god, no, that'd be a waste. Let's not do that. Um, Anyway, yes, let me know how you're going. Um, this is a really good question. Such a good question. If you have any other amazing questions that you'd like me to follow up with, post them below. I love making videos about what you guys are asking. I find it, I just love the interaction because this is such a great topic and it's something that I learned when I was reading the book and I was just, there was just so much that I needed to learn that I just continued on and I didn't share it with you. So, Yes. Okay. So you have a number of things to do. Tell me about, are you consuming nuts? Um, and how, how are you getting that? Are you making them yourself or are you buying? And if you're making them, let me know like the combination of them. Um, and have you noticed weight gain or weight loss? Um, yeah. <gasps> Great question. I can't even remember who asked me this question, but I remember scrolling through the comments. And I was like, that is a very good question. Anyways, my loves, thank you so much for watching today's episode. If you would like to see more videos like this, please make sure you subscribe every Tuesday to Friday. That's four videos a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. I bring videos to you about delicious and nutritious goodness. We talk about self-love because love heals all blockages. We have vlogs thrown in there. We have a meditation series that runs every single Friday, which is, oh my gosh, the traffic is getting a little bit higher in that one, which is absolutely amazing. I like to nurture, inspire, and empower you to make better choices. You know, I think the world needs to go vegan because it's going to help prevent and reverse disease because I have cured my acne. Look at this skin. Oh, it's amazing. I feel so good. I feel good. Um, 
yeah, so I have cured my acne. I have lost 10 kilos since switching over to a plant-based lifestyle or a vegan lifestyle. I don't really know how to classify it. Anyway, I eat lots of plants and I feel really good. And my digestion has never been better. I've got energy. I have so much energy. Like, I went to an hour of reformer Pilates class today, which was so cool. I'm, oh my gosh, I need to stop talking. This is like 15 minutes and 23 seconds. I love you so much, guys. I will see you tomorrow for meditation. Love you.